Hi everyone. Today we are with uh, Mr. M C Karyapa on top of Harangal Estate, uh, one of the estates on high elevation near Madkeri. We have an overview of Harangi Dam here on the right hand side, and this serene plantation is a treat to watch. Uh, thank you, Mr. Karyapa, for your esteemed presence. Um, Mr. Karyapa has been uh, involved in using the Yarap crop nutrition practices for the last two to three years and uh, we are here to have a feedback on how the use efficiency and couple of other factors of Yara crop nutrition is. Good morning uh, Karthik and uh, a big hi to the Yara team. I've always been fascinated by this company Yara as there is no questions to be asked about its accountability. I was always fascinated by their products and decided to use them. Of course, I had to consult their agronomists as to how to go about doing things and wanted to do it on my own to see for myself is how it would make a difference and bring about a change in our estate. We started using these products about four years ago and constantly we have been using this as per their literature. Unfortunately in the year 2018-19 we went through a very bad phase of floods and landslides which definitely took a beating and I continue to use their products so that in the next year or so we see a visible difference and hopefully the crop should improve and also the cup quality which I really want a big jump in. Thank you. Uh, could you kindly give us a background of this plantation, how it started, uh, why uh, did you come up with an idea to start this plantation? I understand the inspiration comes from your father who was serving in the Air Force of our country. Uh, could you please kindly brief us on the aspects how you put this together and to make this wonderful estate into one. When somebody asks you in the plantation districts as to what are you doing, it's not a boring answer to say, oh, I am a coffee grower. I think you should be excited that you are a coffee grower. As you said, my father was in the Air Force and after he came out of the Air Force, we are basically into business. We had a LPG agency and I also deal in another business wherein we are into distribution of construction related materials. An estate which I was always passionate about and my father also gave me a lot of encouragement to make it happen. It then started with my father buying land in a phased manner in this lovely place called Madapo. Right on top of a hill, our estate stands between 3600 to 4250 feet above sea level. And it was my uncle, Mr. Bos Mandana, who encouraged me to grow quality Arabica and also my uncle from my maternal side, Mr. N.K. Chinnapa, who was my coach, who helped me open up this area with Arabica and Robusta, whose guidance, whose package of practices. And he taught me cultivation in such a way that I can never forget his ways of doing things. I hope to make 
Mr. Bose Mandana and Mr. N.K. Chinnappa proud with the practices that I am doing today and I hope to continue with the help of Yara products which I use in my estate. Now I am with the third generation planter, uh, Mr. Havish. He is pursuing his uh, engineering in uh, electronics and uh, he wants to study artificial intelligence. That's where his passion lies in. Uh, I would like to know uh, from Havish, why does he think growing quality coffee is important? And why is growing differentiated coffee to the world is important to sustain in this industry of coffee cultivation. Okay, so a very good day to one and all. Basically, I feel in today's world, especially in Kook, our estate is at an elevation of 3,800 feet to 4,250 feet. At such an elevation, it's very difficult to uh, produce, you know, a huge yield. And also now, today, because of uh, increase in cost of production, and the current market rate, it's very difficult to earn a living from you know maintaining an estate and then uh, because of the low coffee rates, our profit from the estate is very less. So I feel the only way for us to survive is to produce high quality coffee so that we get better rates and we can maintain the estate. So today, as you know, cost of manure has gone up, cost of uh, fuel has gone up, cost of labor has gone up. So unless we you know, produce good quality coffee, we cannot compensate for that. So that is the fundamental reason why I feel producing good quality coffee from estates you know, with a very good altitude is very important. Also, the nature what we have in Kook is one of a kind. So that also complements to producing good quality coffee. For example, here in our estate, without just the basic um, flora and fauna is enough, to produce a very good cup. Thank you, Havish. Uh, as you can see, it's pouring. This is how it is for four months in a, day, in a year. It takes humongous effort to grow coffee and make ends meet. So only way or the only path for Indian coffee to sustain in this global market with high production and mechanization is through growing quality coffee. Through this, I urge to every youngster who is in the field of coffee to walk towards growing quality coffee and making their brands known across the world for the nuances like this microclimate here and the landscape we are in. It's quite sensitive, it's quite dangerous, but it's still alluring. Thank you.